The players are getting in the lobby. <laughs> the players are getting in the lobby, so we have time to introduce the team lineups for both teams. So, playing for the Butler Challengers today, uh, in the top lane, Nick Stightly, suited six. In the jungle, Tommy Harrod, Voltaid. In the mid lane, Cooper Silinet, Coopstar. Playing bot lane, Hudson Ellis, Lord Kraken 12. And today, with two supports, the Challengers will be playing Manuel, Alarcon Nava, Manny X, and Caleb Buttram Hawes, Pi 34. On Illinois' side, we have Plute, Zion, Snowdown Arcade, Music X, and the Protector. Uh, it looks like coming into the match that Illinois will have a slight rank, rank advantage against the Bulldogs, but the Bulldogs have a winning record in the CSL, while Illinois Tech dropped their first match against IU Bloomington. Okay. So, let's see what the Butler strategy is for bans. Kane, first ban for Butler. That must be a targeted right at Draco. Ooh, first ban Diana straight towards Suited Six. That's his main champion, known for it. Out of here. No way. <laughs> Illinois is having none of it. Let's see what Butler follows up that Diana ban with. A rise ban that's targeted at the mid laner Plu. Looking for a good matchup for Coopstar. Trying to set up the team for success. Hecarim Ban targeted towards Voltaid. That's one of his staple picks in solo queue that he's just been dominating the ladder with. Teamwork makes the dream work, okay? Teamwork beats rank every day. And a Leona Ban and Caitlyn Ban to round it out. Caitlyn targeted towards Lord Kraken and that Leona going towards Boom Bang. <laughs> Big Mac reading the chat. Very true. I have a second monitor to the side so I can I can keep up with all of the high intensity high intensity Twitch chat action. Ooh, Darius locked in for suited six. Now that is a very interesting pick right there. Not something you normally see in competitive, but something the Butler squad might have been practicing to catch Illinois off guard. Pantheon locked in for true five. Very standard pick, strong champion in the meta right now. Just very, very overloaded kit. Good numbers. Let's see if they can make that work. Ooh, Echo Jungle locked in for Draco. How will Butler respond to that? Voltaid locking or hovering the Nautilus. Will they lock it in? No, it'll be the Elise. And final pick of this rotation for Butler will be the Nautilus. That's going to Manny X. So we have some good CC, a nice split pusher. How will Illinois answer? The Morgana getting locked in. That'll be the Black Shield to be very nice for denying engages from Nautilus and Elise. But you sacrifice some of that laning power with the Morgana pick. Jin ban, another targeted ban towards Lord Kraken. I wonder what Butler will be targeting during this second phase of bans. Ah, Jinx, 80 carries getting banned across the board here. That leaves. Kaisa and Zaya still open. Katarina band away. And one last ban for the Butler lineup. Let me 
Trist Band, another 80 carry. Misfortune locked in with, or not locked in, being hovered with the Morgana. Would make for a very immobile but powerful bot lane. Misfortune locked in for the side of Illinois Tech. Ash is the pick for Butler. More CC in that bottom lane. If you're hit by the Nautilus Assault, if you're not hit by the Nautilus Assault, you're definitely going to be hit by the Ash Arrow. So, just loading the bot lane full of CC. Now, what will be the last lock-in for mid lane? It's going to have to pick this matchup blind, and it's the Nico. This looks like a huge CC pick comp for Butler. Get a strong split pusher and Darius rolling with the Elise jungle, and then you play for picks around your your Ash, Nought, Nico with those huge team fight alts. How will Illinois Tech respond to this? Hovering all sorts of mid laners right now. Ari is the lock in. So that's triple AP threats from Illinois. Double from Butler. Very balanced team cups. First dragon spawning will be a ocean dragon. Very important objective early on into the game. Illinois Tech opting for the stack on the bottom side of the map while Butler's invading the top side. Will they find a pick is the question. Oh, it looks like they're invading into the red side jungle. Pantheon spots them out. I'm just going to back off. Nice ward kill though. Looks like there is vision put into the red side jungle of Butler after they saw them perform that invade, but good counter vision on the Krugs and the red camp. Players rotating back down to the jungle camp to get this leash going for their Elise. Try to get her off to a strong start so she can make an impact early on in the game and help snowball these lanes. Coop star trading back and forth with Clue. Junglers both clearing their first camps. Back to the mid lane. Ari getting the early shove in. Both top laners just playing in their waves, taking it easy. Both teams playing it safe to start the match. No early trades or aggression. So I think key factors in this game are going to be how much early, ooh, Maniacs getting traded onto and that's first blood for Illinois Tech. That Morgana binding sits you there for a long time. Caught him off guard. And the ignite being dropped. Nice poke in the mid lane. Lord Kraken just looking to recover and farm some of the CS. But as I was saying, it's going to be important to see if... Ooh, nice binding by the Morgana. Important to see if this Elise can have an early game impact where the Echo will be able to outscale, but does not have nearly as much early game power. Especially with all the CC in these lanes. I believe Butler's going to have a very strong level 6 and early dragon fight. Nice stun landing by Voltaide, but Pantheon on the rotation, so just a quick retreat. And it looks like Echo's going to get the top Scuttle Crab, while Elise makes her way back down towards the bot side. Darius farming a tower and bot lane returned to normal and now that Maniac's back into lane. 
bot lane being pushed in by this ever harassing Morgana misfortune duo with the pools. Oh, a fight breaking out in the top lane. Darius stacking up that bleed. But it looks like Pantheon gets the better end of that trade. Lord Kraken quite low, just looking to get some farm in for a recall. Nice! Poked by Koopstar. Plu getting absolutely hammered in this lane. Ooh, suited six. Might be in trouble. <gasps> no, he gets him in tower range. Stacking the bleed. Ooh, Pantheon. Nice kill. Voltade gank bot lane, but it's turned. Now it's Maniacs and Lord Kraken against the Misfortune. Ooh, the Misfortune closes the kill. But the Ignite. And that's a turnaround from Maniacs. Nice kill. And Morgana finishes off. Oh, finishes off Maniacs, but that's a solo kill by Koopstar in the mid lane. Woo, right when Butler needed it. Good work from that Nico. Getting the better of Plu. So. Triple Rejuve Bead bought by the Darius, just looking to survive lane phase for the moment. Elise with double control ward, looking to make an early impact with those ganks, potentially with mid lane with that 1 and 0 lost chapter Nico, looking huge right now. Bot lane struggling, but nice counter kill answered by Manny. 3 0 Morgana already bought a Majiz. That's uh, going to be interesting and lethality being built by the misfortune. Pantheon jumping in in the top lane, Prox Conqueror getting a nice trade off, blocks the Q with the shield, but stacking up the bleed, will suited six be able to get out? He has to dodge the spear, <gasps> the flash, no it misses, or well, it connects but does not kill him. Miss Charm. <gasps> nice root. Voltate over the wall. Lands. Nice ultimate by Koopstar. But Ari able to get out. Will they find the catch onto both of them? Koopstar with another kill. This man's on fire. Wow. That Nico gameplay. That was expertly played. And another fight breaks out in the bot lane. Lord Kraken having the heal to back away. Maniacs re-engaging, but the misfortune Morgana lane is just too strong. Pantheon caught by the stun. Voltage not able to do enough damage. Ooh, over the wall, and suited six can't make it to that play. It's just a, a miscommunication from the butler, jungler, and top laner. Unfortunate. Farming under tower. Looking to just catch back up in CS. His bot lanes holding on. Waiting for those level sixes. That's a level six for the Morgana. Big power spike for her. Mid lane being pushed in by Ari, clearing out the pink ward. Again, another binding hit by Morgana. She is been on point this entire match. Koopstar up a level in the mid lane. Echo and Elise both looking bot lane at the moment. Echo level 6, so he will have the infight advantage. All three carries on Illinois Tech with their level 6, while Butler's level 5, 4, and 5. Ooh, and that's just a straight up double kill for the Echo and the Misfortune. But a trade kill answered by Manny X. Nice recovery. Koopstar going in. Plu dodges out with the Ari ultimate. Not quite.
Plu engages, misses. Koopstar misses the roof, but hits the poke. Gets ignited, trying to back off. Voltaid on his way to help. Connects with the spider. Is he in range? No, he gets charmed. Oof. Not able to answer back on that mid lane kill. Ari. Looks like we're just clearing out some pink wards for the Echo. Butler finds himself in a four and a half thousand gold deficit at ten minutes. It's a, uh, it's a tough road ahead to get back into this game, but Koopstar is very strong in the mid lane, and carries are starting to hit level six. And if they can make a big play around one of these major objectives, win a team fight, they could find themselves right back in the game with some, collecting some of the shutdown gold. Voltaid once again being very diligent about his warding and making sure his team has vision so they won't be able to get ganked unknowingly. And to keep track of that Echo's pathing. If we look at CS numbers, Butler is slightly down across the board except for the large gap in the bot lane after a couple early deaths from the Ash Nautilus. The Morgana Misfortune poke lane is just getting the better of Ash Nautilus at the moment. Nautilus close to level 6 though, so an opportunity may be coming up for them. Butler's bot lane looking to survive. Koopstar hit by the charm. But lands the root in answer. Misfortune ult being pretty ineffective. Alt being blocked. Ooh! Connects with both ultis in the bot lane. Misfortune dead. Lord Kraken kiting it out. And a solo kill in the mid lane. We're gonna have to rewind to that one. Get a Koopstar cam right here. How does this go down? Koopstar just lands a binding and gets it. That's just another solo kill. Koopstar with three so or no, two solo kills this game. On to that Ari. Huge game from him, keeping Butler in this. And it looks like Pantheon died as well. And Butler is getting the Ocean Dragon. This is a big objective win that they need. This will help extend their lane phases and continue letting the team scale, especially the bot lane. Against all this poke, being able to heal up under tower will be essential for them. Meanwhile, while they got the Ocean Dragon, Echo has been split pushing top lane and getting plates for himself though, accelerating himself ahead in levels and XP over Voltaid in the jungle. And it looks like Suited6 got some of those kills, two of them. Oh, Darius got a double kill. Okay, we're gonna rewind to that. Ah, he teleported bot, right time. And boom, just like that, double kill. All Butler members performing exceptionally well. This is exciting. Koopstar, staying in lane, low HP. Opportunity for Plu. Voltaid does not connect on the Elise Cocoon. Backing off, clearing out vision. This vision control by Voltaid has been huge this game for the Butler lineup. I don't think I've seen uh, this Echo get very many successful ganks off because of all this, all of these control wards and 
vision from Bumper. Nice Morgana binding into MF Ultimate. But that's a double ulti right back onto the Morgana who dies. No! She lives with one HP! Oh, that's gotta be rough. And Voltade caught by the Echo. Hits the binding on the retreat. And that's another one cleaned up by Echo. And the bot lane tower falls. 5, 1, and 4 on this Morgana with 6 stacks on the Magi's. She is going full carry this game. Koopstar already has the host completed mid lane. Suited 6 engaging. Building up those stacks onto the Pantheon. And does not find the all in. Koopstar and Ari again in this 1v1 flash forward by Ari, and that's a flash out by Koopstar. He lives! No, put the Morgana binding! Oh, what a series of events. Maniacs being cornered by the misfortune, but Voltaic connects, and that's. Oof. That's a uh, that that's a Magi's uh, Morgana. She hurts bad. Lord Kraken looking to engage the one v one as they were just too fast and he could not get away. Plue again looking. No Maniax connects with the hook, but I think he just hooked himself into his own death as the misfortune showed up and two v one. He is he falls down. Suited Six holding his tower against this Pantheon. Rift Herald taken by the Echo. Draco. Snowdown Arcade pushing the bot lane, looking for a recall. Double lethality item completed. 16 stacks Magi's on that Morgana. Really, Butler, you're gonna have to look towards your solo lanes at this point in the game. Ooh, Conqueror stack. Look at this, fully stacked bleed, and the Pantheon Q execute lands before the ultimate from Darius comes out very close, but can Voltaid and Koopstar clean this up? And they will, that's one going over to Voltaid. Koopstar caught by the binding, but not a big deal. There's no support followed up. They use Rift Herald mid to push in that mid wave and get the tower. Mid tier 2 likely going to fall as well. This is a big Rift Herald push for Illinois. And Koopstar on the rotation gets caught out by the Morgana and just blown up. That's the power of 16 stacks on your Magi's at 16 minutes. Miss Fortune channeling the ultimate just to poke out Voltaid and Manny X, trying to get more damage onto this tower and potentially push into the end hit at 16 minutes. Flash forward by Boom Bang, hits the binding. Nice connection from the hook. Suited six. Oh. Illinois Tech chunked out, but no kills connected by Butler. Man, it's been a action-packed couple of minutes. From the pick on Pantheon to the Rift Herald to Inhib mid lane. It was quite the series of plays. Voltaid looking to farm up his jungle, get back into the game. Catch up an XP to that Echo. While he takes the Mountain Dragon. And look at this Illinois Tech vision right now. Just all over Butler's jungle. Suited Six pushing up in the top lane while Voltaid is getting invaded in his jungle. And it looks like he's backing up to help support Voltaid. But this is a two on four situation. This is not looking good for the Bulldogs. True 5 getting that black shield and that's just a clean tower dive right there. Flash expended. Snowdown Arcade pushing on to suited 6 but 
not able to do damage because of that armor already built onto the top laner of Butler. As we look back to the builds, a lot of lethality being built for the Illinois Tech lineup. So armor will be a very, very strong purchase. Flash expended by Echo to escape from the Ash Nautilus CC combo. While the rest of Illinois Tech pushes top lane. Looks like Echo is looking to steal the red buff of Butler. While the top lane tower is being sieged. Baron spawning in less than a minute, and the Mountain Drag already taken for Illinois Tech means that this will be a likely early Mountain Drag by them. I mean, early Baron attempt by them. And it looks like they are trying to engage onto Manny X, but they cannot find it. Bulldogs have a big road ahead of them trying to come back into this game. I think it has to start with Koopstar and Suited Six. Both of their carries have kills on them. I think you need your Trinity Force completed onto Suited Six, and you got double Glacial Augment items finished onto Koopstar. Now it's just a matter of getting the right team fight. Potentially around Baron with the uh, reduced MR. Oh, no. Voltaid caught by that Magize Nika, I mean, Magize Morgana. 25 stacks, but will she fall? This could be a big turning point. Kill on to Darius, huge shutdown gold, and a loss of all of those stacks. But meanwhile, Illinois Tech once again sieging this bot lane tower. Koopstar being taken down by Snowdown Arcade. That was just a burst of damage. Brutal Lord Kraken being killed by... Oh! Nice arrow to answer the Ari engage. Nice dodge by Suited Six onto the Echo ulti. He gets out, and it looks like Echo is in big danger. Voltaid on the chase. No, misses the cocoon, but he lands the other spells. Does he finish the kill? Lord Kraken engaged on, killed by the Pantheon. Manny X looking for the engage. Onto the Pantheon. Prox Aftershock, but he doesn't have the follow up damage. Caught by the Misfortune. No, hits the hook, and he gets the Ignite down, but the heal from Misfortune. Pantheon somehow surviving, lands the Cocoon. Trait kill, huge shutdown. Koopstar, oop, no, misses. Gets the Ignite and the Glacial Augment. That is a kill. Lots of golden XP going on to these carries at Butler from the shutdown gold, but they're losing their base in the process. That's two inhibs down, and or no, one inhib down, threatening two, very low health, two inhibs fall, and the third is at a sliver of HP. Lots of XP and gold being funneled into Butler at the moment, but they'll have to continue to survive. Three inhibs fall for Butler. This looks like it's going to be a barren attempt from Illinois Tech. You know, Butler is starting to get items. Ooh, engage on to Boom Bang potentially. Nope. Butler backs off. So, Suited Six has his Triforce completed, and it looks like he's close to his second item. Um, Voltaid in the jungle, being able to build towards that uh, Morel and Alcon, or whatever he's building towards. Mid lane, double Glacial Augment items completed. Already noted that was huge with the Sorcerer Shoes, and this is this Baron's just getting melted. The speed at which they take it is very quick for a 20 minute team. And Baron goes over to Illinois Tech just like that. Very, very sizable lead Butler will have to come back from. 17,000 gold at this point. But none of the, uh, well, I'd say a lot of the lead comes from bot lane right now in terms of XP and gold, as the solo laners are both rather even and have significant playmaking potential. I think a big Ash Arrow into Nico Ultimate will be the opportunity for Butler to come back into this game and win a team fight. It'll be extremely difficult into this barrened up 17 or 16,000 gold lead Illinois Tech though. Defending both inhib towers, Butler's just trying to hang on. 
Will we see one last team fight? Maniac charmed. That's the misfortune ult. As they all go on to suited six. Koopstar flashes in, hits a four man ult, but there just isn't enough follow up. And that is game one going to Illinois Tech. GG. Rough game one for the Bulldogs, but there's hope. We saw Coop Stars Nico and Suited Sixes Darius. Both looked very good. Voltaid had some nice plays, some good cocoons. Fell behind early on that or on a couple misplays. And the bot lane, really, the the misfortune Morgana bot lane could not be answered. That was very, very powerful from the side of Illinois Tech. How will Butler answer that bot lane of Misfortune Morgana? Will it be a different bot lane on our side or a different set of bands? I think that was the biggest um, deterrent from that game. Hecarim, first ban by Illinois Tech targeting Voltaid. Big game, or Big champ for Voltaid. He spams the Hecarim in solo queue and absolutely tears it up. Look at that. 60% win rate over 136 games. This man is an animal at Hecarim. Like, absolutely, absolute mad man. They better be banning it. Be this encouragement gonna course through me? You got this, guys. I believe in you. You guys had the uh, you guys had the potential last game. You had some good team plays. Cinder banned. Morgana being banned by Butler. Nice answer from the Bulldogs to that bot lane. I wonder how they will pivot in their draft. Aatrox banned away by Illinois Tech. Interesting ban. Is that in Suited Six's champion pool? Not that I know of, but. And the Rise once again banned away from Plu. Who will be the first pick for Illinois Tech? Is that Nakali? No, the Kane. Morgana subbed out for Kane, and that is an instant lock in for Draco. This is his specialty pick. Will he be able to take over the game or just fall flat? You know, Kane is not a very popular competitive pick because of his beast or famine nature, and that's the Diana being left open for suited sex! Yo, I'm excited. We're about to see my man on his on his uh, most comfortable champion. That's a big pickup for Butler. What will be the second pick of this draft? <sighs> Sejuani locked in for Voltaid. Not a signature champion for him, but always good and competitive. Pairs really well with melee laners, specifically with the Diana locked in for suited six. That will be a deadly 2v2 combo in the top jungle. And Kane, no chance he'll be able to assassinate that Sejuani. So he'll probably be forced into the red form. And the Yasuo lock in for Illinois Tech. Yasuo Kane on the same team, both. AD champions, melee, and require a lot of farm. Interesting. Who will they follow up the Yasuo with? (laughs) 
You know his dying is so good that my voice cracks. Absolutely. I am that excited. And Gragas Yaswo, very common combination, locked in. That could go bot lane, that could go mid lane. There are a lot of combinations for those champions. But I believe that's going to be a Kane jungle. And is that is that Zed? Zed locked in for Butler. Okay, Koopstar, I see you. Koopstar looking to flex his muscles with suited six on the double assassin solo laners. This will be a skill matchup, ladies and gentlemen, and the misfortune taken out. Whew. This is going to be a spicy one. Wakan ban. By Illinois Tech. Jinx banned by Butler. And final ban for Illinois Tech will be Teemo. Now that's just BM. Caitlyn being locked in for Butler. Great long range. Consistent damage carry for Lord Kraken. Hopefully something he'll be able to just, uh, you know, be comfortable on as they threw three different bands at him last game. This is one of his more comfortable champions. And that's a Cho'Gath being locked in and a Malphite. So we have triple tank, double carry, or three, triple AP off tank, double AD melee carry for Illinois Tech. This is a very odd team composition, but very hard to assassinate. That could be part of their draft strategy. Leona being hovered and locked in for Pi 31. Now that's a big pickup in the bot lane. You know, Caitlyn Morgan or Caitlyn Leona. Leona, if, if she ever hits the uh, Zenith Blade, you know, that's a trap, that's a stun. Headshot, headshot by Caitlyn. Like, you're getting chunked out big time. Great disengage champion, too, and very tanky. Hard to kill. From the ya or hard for the Yasuo Brags to be able to get a kill on. And we are loaded into game. Red side butler. Ping's going out on that bot lane tri brush from Illinois Institute of Technology. Butler looking to five point. And this is an invade coming from Illinois Institute of Technology, but likely going to be spotted by this Leona. Yes, spotted by the Leona. Illinois Institute of Technology still pushing forward, getting wards onto the blue. Pings go down from Butler to the enemy blue, but it will be protected by the cane. Go dog! <laughs> okay. We have Malphite making his way up to the top lane. Doran's ring start for him. Uh, Longsword for the Zed with three potions, so he'll have more in lane sustain and combat effectiveness, but we'll be lacking the base stats from the Doran's item. Suited six on the leash for Voltaid, getting that. Early camp started for Sejuani. Ooh, early engaged by the Gragas. Onto the Caitlyn. Nice chunk of damage onto Kraken and Pi. Should be able to heal up from the relic stacks though. Kraken just looking to poke out the bot lane. Zed Cho'Gath in the 1v1 mid. Zed getting caught by the Q in the wave. Cho'Gath getting the better end of that trade. Yasuo Gragas pushing in with their threatening after the level 1 bush attack. 
Suited six pushing in the top lane. Okay. I believe that this game will come a lot down to individual lane agency. Whether Zed will be able to get a solo kill at six. Uh, or be able to pressure the Cho'Gath out of lane and build an advantage for himself. The... Diana surviving and getting items and this is a gank by Voltaid onto the Cho'Gath. Cho'Gath flash burn and that's a stun. This looks like a first blood for Koopstar on the Zed. That's exactly what you're looking for if you're a Butler fan. Whew. Saves the flash. You can see Ignite down. Flash burned by Plu and that is a kill for the Zed. Getting that snowball started. Suited 6 being chunked out by the Malphite. That was a that was a sick gank by the Sejuani, yeah. Very heads up play. And it looks like Suited Six is getting ganked by this cane. Flashes away, manages to live, but still an effective gank by Kane, getting that flash out of Suited Six. Voltaid contesting the wave bot, and it looks like they're engaging onto him. That's an ignite drop onto Voltaid as the Leona tries to catch up. Heals off of the blue with Smite. And that's a flash by the Gregs to secure that kill. Clue invading the jungle as well. Three members on this blue buff for Illinois Tech. Given over to the Yasuo, Clue does not look very, uh, very happy about that one. Looks like Lord, Lord Kraken hovering tower and Leona. Set a set of DC. We're just chilling. Okay, back on the top lane. Okay, Voltaic clearing out his camps and getting a pink warden after that blue buff steal. Suited six holding off on the top lane with double Dorans and a serrated dirk completed in the mid lane for Koopstar. Cho'Gath on some AP components, so he will be less powerful than Zed for the time being. Um, does Butler know they can pause the game? I'm going to DM them. Okay. And it looks like some connectivity issues, something you don't want to see, of course, will be solved once we have our facility with uh, stable internet for all of our players. Shout out. And suited six in the top lane, fighting true five. Mid lane, another gank comes in from the Sejuani. Koopstar, Sejuani gets the smite down, stun, and they continue on to Plu. That's the ignite being dropped. Voltaid, one health, and the kill goes over to Koopstar. What a Q. Great finish. Whew. Can both players escape from this cane? Flashes over the wall. Koopstar flashes away, and that is two kills onto the Zed. Exactly what you want to see if you're Butler. This Zed is starting to snowball and could get very scary very soon, especially once he hits level six. Whew. What a game. This is what we'd like to see. Suited 6 in the 1v1 against True 5. True 5 has the Malphite ultimate, and that's the kill. Hitting 6 just before Suited 6. Unfortunate for the Diana. In the bot lane, Lord Kraken trying to catch up due to that connection problem we had earlier in the game. Healing up nicely off of that potion. we go back to Koopstar hitting level 6. Let's see how he plays out this lane phase. Uses the W. Kane lying in wait. 
How will Coopstar... Ooh, nice connection. Big chunk taken out of Cho'Gath. Sejuani continues to farm, looking for that level 6. Suited 6, pushing in the top lane, getting a plate for himself, catching back up on CS. Looking quite healthy for himself, but getting ganked by the cane. Flash by Malphite just to get the slow. Suited 6, does he have a way out of here? No flash, slowed again. Ulted by the cane. Nice aftershock. But that's the kill by True 5. Again, bot lane being pushed in by Butler, or, yeah, bot lane of Butler being pushed in by Illinois Tech. Oh, Voltade getting a recall off on that Sejuani. Ult comes out from Koopstar, triple shuriken, gets the auto. And he gets the kill. That's another solo kill by Koopstar. This man's on fire today. Double ult under tower by the Oswo. Can he get it? No. Stun and killed by Lord Kraken under tower. That was so aggressive from the Oswo. Nice turn by Pi. Stunned right under tower. Nothing he could do. Great play from the Butler. Bot lane Voltate getting the Gragas. Caught up in a stun. Canceled teleport. What's this? And the kill secured by Lord Kraken. That's 2-0 oh off of a DC. Do you see this man? He's not even level 6 and he has 2 kills. Great job by the whole team of Butler making that happen. Whoo! Great turnaround for the bot lane. Mid lane with 3 kills and this top lane just trying to hold on while the bot side of the map is taking over the game for Butler. This is a gold lead too at 9 minutes. And an engage by Suited6 getting the better of True5 on that trade. Now that he's starting to get items built up, this full AP Malphite, ooh that's a lot of damage though. Voltade picking up the blue buff. True 5 just farming under tower. And it looks like a dragon take for Illinois Tech. This is a nice sneak in response to Butler's recalls after getting all of those kills. And it looks like right there, blue team has slain the dragon. Did not give over the alt stack to Cho'Gath though. Which will mean no additional bonus health to help try to survive that Zed ultimate all in. And it looks like Zed and Sejuani are both hovering bot lane looking for an, a gank on these overextended Illinois Tech Gragas and Yasuo. And the ultimate back and forth. No, gets the stun off. Nice auto attack. Will the ignite tick down and burn him? No, he lives, but he's killed by Voltade. Kane engages with the W. Cho'Gath caught by the stun. Ultimate catches. Exhaust drop. Ultimate by Koopstar engages, does not get the kill, and a triple kill for that 0-3 Cho'Gath getting himself right back into the game. Whew. Big fight for Illinois Tech right there. Lord Kraken farming under tower, trying to pick up these minions. And this is a dive being set up right here by the Cho'Gath, and that's a chomp, just like that. Whew. Suited Six pushing in the top lane, once again having priority over this Malphite. This is allowing Voltaid to play the other side of the map because he has constant pressure in the top lane, despite being ganked early and falling behind. Two plates taken on the bot lane. True 5 continuing to be poked out by Suited 6. But Kane lies in wait. And this is another gank onto Suited 6. This man is being camped. Nice aftershock proc, but I don't know if it'll be enough. And that is another kill going over to the Kane. This immobile Diana just being targeted over and over by the Melfite Kane combo. Yasuo engaging onto Leona. Nice Conqueror stack. And disengaged by Butler. Koopstar and Voltade looking at Draco. But an engage. Koopstar gets out. Voltade, nice ulti. Ooh. Koopstar caught back up with by the Kane. This man is level 9. 
far ahead of just about everybody else in the game, aside from the Malphite. This is his signature champion, and he has been farming up a storm. 77 CS on him, 2015. Big game by the Kane. We had a might, nice mid game comeback from Butler, but it looks like Illinois Tech has the initiative and lead at the moment with a 5,000 gold lead over Butler. The Kane is doing the Rift Hell right now, looking to help them break even more towers. That triple kill bot lane has accelerated Cho'Gath into his full item, and an ultimate used by Gragas. Draco securing that Rift Herald for Illinois Tech, as Butler is just looking to survive this bot lane at the moment. Yasuo caught in a trap, caught by the Leona, ult comes down, that's a Q, that's a tower shot, and that's a kill right there. Lord Kraken takes down Snowdown Arcade once again. Yasuo just stepping way too far up into this leona Caitlyn combo bot lane. Very nice play from Butler. Suited Sick hanging on top lane. That's a three level lead for the Malphite at this point. Very scary. Aftershock proc and they're setting up for a gank. Ooh, beautiful flash by Suited Six to dodge the Malphite ult. Do you know how little... There's not a lot of frames to do that. That was sick. And the ultimate by Koopstar, shutting down the Malphite. Another kill onto this Zed. Nice flash out, but double knockup. Double knockup again by the Gragas, and that is just the combo bot lane right there. Voltaid engaging onto the Cho'Gath. This Cho'Gath has not... Has not been hitting those 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 ultimates. He only has he has none. He has no no bonus additional health from using his ultimate at 14 minutes. Very very rough game or not rough game, but uh, rough for the Choga. <laughs> Wind Dragon goes over to Illinois Tech as they had control over the bottom lane, but a fight breaks out. Koopstar and Voltaid into Snowdown Arcade. Look at that Conqueror healing. Unbelievable. And that's a Kane engage, and I think that is going to be a cleanup quadra kill for the Yasuo right there. Not the fight you want to see as a Butler fan. Let's rewind that and see how it started. Ah, the Rift Herald being used, Voltaid ulting, and looking looking good onto this Yasuo, gets the stun off with the, the shield regeneration from the double ultimate, and then the Conqueror stacking, Triumph, this, this Yasuo just stays alive for so long, and just takes over the fight. So close for Butler, but staying alive, the Yasuo, absolutely demolishing that fight. Ooh, okay. Diana here with a shutdown kill onto the Oswo. Very nice. Ooh, Koopstar with the damage. Can he continue to follow up on the Rost? No, he can't. Cho'Gath stops him in his tracks. Top tower falls to Malphite. Voltaid looking to pick up his jungle, but Frost is having none of that. Cho'Gath looking to continue forward onto Voltaid. Voltaid and Koopstar connecting onto Plu. Plu getting... No! Stun wears off! Electrocute drop. Dodged. Nice ultimate. And another kill. Shutdown over to the Diana. Diana picking up some items. Gets her Rod of Ages completed. Five stacks on the Dark Seal. This could be the turning point for the top laner on Butler. Voltaid working towards that. Warmog's armor, very essential item on Sejuani. 
Koopstar building towards his Black Cleaver. Yasuo in the middle of Butler's team. What is happening? And a Flash Ultimate from Malphite just uh, eviscerates that fight. Oh, like, instantly. Over. Very nice engage from the Malphite. Uses his Flash in the process, but two carries from Butler dead. Will this be a siege on the mid tower? Suited six caught by the slow. Knock up. And kill right there by the Cho'Gath ultimate. Pi doing his best to survive, but cut down by the Yasuo once again. Nice early game control from Butler, but once again in the mid game, they just start to lose to lose it. Yasuo forward dies. Voltaid, nice shutdown. Lord Kraken pushing off the rest of Illinois Tech from their base. Koopstar on the chase looking for a trade kill. Has Flash ultimate coming up soon. Slowed by the barrel. Nope, does not find the engage. Just backs off looking to continue farming for Butler. Illinois Tech looking to invade Butler's jungle. Take away some of the resources from Voltaid. Delay that War Mog's armor. Low health, he's just gonna have to go back to base. Pi 31 being engaged on at the moment. Draco looking onto Voltaid. Voltaid likely, yep, dies here. But Draco's in the middle of Butler's team. Conqueror proc. Ultimate by Koopstar. And that. Oh my goodness, that Diana Zed duo damage right there. That's the double assassin potential. Another huge shutdown on the suited six. That's 900 gold. Three kill equivalent for that Diana. Lord Kraken being flashed on and absolutely eviscerated. I've been there. It sucks. Playing Caitlyn, if they end <laughs> getting Malphite ulted and Greg flashed on, very rough. Voltaid backing off. Gragas cast whiffs, just pushes Voltaid out. And now Butler's trying to defend their Nexus Towers against this heavy melee lineup. Actually, all melee lineup from Illinois Tech. Lord Kraken respawns, engaged by Pi 31. Nice ultimate. And it looks like the Malphite will be very low and dies. Interrupt! The Gragas E by Voltaid, keeping Pi alive at the tail end of that fight. Very nice from Voltaid right there. Voltaid caught by the uh, Tornado, baits the Yasuo in. Yasuo getting ahead of himself, maybe. Wait. Nope. Koopstar gets the shutdown, but Pi 31 falls in response. Plu pushing forward, looking onto Voltaid, suited six. Takes that Q and looks like he is going to clear out this wave. Lord Kraken suited six, both. Clearing these waves while Draco is solo pushing the top lane and Koopstar defending. Koopstar goes for the ultimate, has both shadows ready. Ulted by Rost. Rost is out and disengages. Both champions using their ultimate, no kill being found. Dragon and Baron both on the table at the moment for these teams. Okay, what are we looking for here? Warmog's completed for Voltaid, big power spike for him. Once he gets 3000 health, he'll be able to regen out of combat and really never have to take a base unless he's building a major item. Zonia is being completed for suited six. That's huge. Allows him to go in and have a safety get out button or just engage the fight in general and wait for his team to follow up. Second item close to being completed onto Lord Kraken while Pi 31 builds towards that thorn mail to shut down all of that healing from Yasuo and Kane. I really like that purchase by Pi31, recognizing that the rest of his team does not have the extra gold to build that Grievous Wounds stat. Koopstar being engaged on by the Malphite, looks for an ultimate, dodges out, and gets caught by Plu. 
That'll be big. And a flash engage by the Rost. Kin dodges the Leona ultimate with the Kane ult. Volte trying to peel off his team. Caitlyn firing on the back line. Nope, Draco. And a Malphite ultimate shuts Caitlyn down just like that. That's Luden's Abyssal. Oof. Level 13. Not not much you can do there. Nice ultimate to cancel the TP. Malphite caught under tower. Ross, no. That is a ultimate from Cho'Gath taking him out. Ross, Yasuo ulting into base. And Illinois Tech not going to be able to finish this one. Koopstar gets an opportunity to look for an engage onto these two. Missed the body slam. Koopstar just playing it safe, defending his base. And it looks like they are going to try to push for this inhib once again. Nope. Backing off by Illinois Tech, deciding it might be better to just go for the Baron. Wow. This is a nice respite for Butler as all of their inhibs have respawned and they will once again be able to push out of their base for the first time in a few minutes. They will have to look towards that Baron and see if they can defend it. Teleport ready for suited six so he can make a quick play in the, into the Baron. But very tight race for, for Butler right now. Well... Very, okay, there's a big lead for Illinois Tech, but win conditions still exist for Butler. They have a better position than they did a couple minutes a couple minutes ago with items built onto Suited 6, Voltaid, and Koopstar. Lord Kraken very nearly on his two-item power spike on that Caitlyn flash over the wall by the Yasuo. Yasuo gets ulted by Koopstar, but wind wall blocks. Malphite engage onto Lord Kraken once again. Double knockup by the Yasuo. Malphite dead, big counter kill by Suited6 to save this fight, but two, a carry and support dead for Butler, which means a 3v4 defense with a single Nexus Tower remaining. Butler will have to pull out all the stops to keep this game alive. Suited6 looking for an engage, Cast separates Voltaid from the rest of his team, tries to get back and flashes towards them, Rost falls off in the... In the fountain, Yasuo dies in the fountain, and a kill. All right. These team fights are happening so fast, I can't even keep track. Okay, Draco on the Nexus. Cho'Gath also on the Nexus. Pi engaging on them. Double knockup finds them. Team fight ensues. Suited six caught by the Cho'Gath ultimate. Cho'Gath W double kill ultimate in by Koopstar, but it's not enough. And just like that, Illinois Tech takes the series 2-0. Hard fought by the Bulldogs, but this one, they were just very, very good. That was a very good team. GG's.